The hormones are messenger substances that are secreted by our glands and they go throughout our body and they tell our body what to do. Our hormones, there are many sources of hormones, glands, they call them endocrine glands, they secrete hormones. The adrenal glands on top of the kidneys are part of our endocrine system. The pancreas that is behind our stomach is the part of our endocrine system. The liver secretes hormones. The pancreas secretes hormones. The testes secrete hormones and in the women the ovaries also secrete hormones. Hormones um, are messengers. They tell our body what to do. Um, when you're faced with a horrible situation, a scary situation, the adrenal glands on top of the kidneys, they secrete a hormone called epinephrine. It used to be called adrenaline. It goes into the bloodstream and it prepares your whole body to, to fight or run. It, it, uh, it excites the whole body to a state where it can do what it needs to survive. That's the uh, adrenal glands and the natural epinephrine. Um, okay, the uh, pancreas secretes the hormone insulin which helps us to, uh, which takes the glucose in our blood and moves it into our cells. Very important, it makes the insulin. Um, okay. We have our reproductive system. The reproductive system I have drawn separately and badly. This, believe it or not, is the male reproductive system drawn badly. It has the penis, it has the testes, and the scrotum is the bag uh, or sac. And the testes can also be called gonads. When we talk about both men and women have gonads, it's a general term that applies to testes and ovaries. Our reproductive system of the men have the testes and they make the sperm. They also make the hormone testosterone. The women's gonads are called ovaries and they secrete uh, estrogen, the female hormone, and they can, and there are the eggs that become people. Okay. The outside of a woman, the outside of part of a person that you see with men, the external genitalia, you would see, you would see the scrotum and you would see the penis. The external part of the female anatomy, you would see the labia, there's hair, pubic hair, there will be at the top, there will be the clitoris, it's called. The tiny hole might be hard to find if, if you needed to, which you don't, unless you're in the medical field, the urinary meatus where the pee comes out. And then a larger hole which leads to the what's called the vagina or the birth canal. And then here's the anus. I didn't put an anus on this guy, um, but he's got one. We all came with one. If you don't have one, you'll need to talk to somebody about getting one. That's where the excrement comes out. This is the external genitalia of the woman. This is the internal part of the female reproductive system. The women have all the machinery for making the babies. Um, and um, when it's time to make a baby, the egg the, the woman, uh, the egg goes into the fallopian tubes and hangs around in there. The sperm from the man enters the vagina, goes up through the uterus, 
up into the fallopian tube, and conception occurs in the fallopian tube, where the sperm meets the ovum. The women's eggs are called ovums or oocytes. They meet the sperm. The sperm, then the uh, conception has occurred, and the ovum, having been fertilized, comes down into the uterus, or call, uh, colloquial, they call that the womb and it attaches to the side of the womb and grows into a baby and during the birth process the baby comes out of the vaginal canal. Um, if you don't want a baby at age 17 or 18 or 19 there are ways to there are ways to prevent of this process from resulting in a baby. You've probably been introduced to those. If you haven't, you might want to talk to the people at Planned Parenthood, okay, or to a doctor. Um, you can use condoms. A man can use a condom if you're going to be sexually active. You should use a condom anyway because there's a lot of diseases out there. Uh, until you're ready to conceive a child, you should use condoms, but they are not 100% uh, reliable in preventing pregnancy, so you may wish to do other things as well. This is the women's reproductive organs inside. These are external genitalia, the stuff you see on the outside. The